Cause of that coca like a local mud I got my red rocket I'ma put in the mud Oh shit Oh shit Where is Here we go on? again Your camera went straight to 140p it's, it's, been, it's always been 140p Hello people of the internet Welcome back to episode 8 Of Among the Brain us. Dead podcast Finally the Among reunion us. season two episode one uh lockdown has eased up over here in the uk so uh we finally yeah, got Bo, uh, we finally did, got did, did you hear what Bo, bojo's like said like he someone in parliament Wait, heard him say it say bojo yeah Boris Johnson. <laughs> that's pretty good i've not heard that uh, yeah, that's what ahead. i call him yeah, someone heard him say in parliament like he he's not doing a, another lockdown he doesn't care if the bodies are uh, fucking lining up in the street not lockdown, to get political or anything everything. but what the fuck is cheese yeah big facts i was in town today i was in um, my local town let's not mention because i don't know i accidentally dox myself <laughs> We've i was, been in, doxed I was many times. in the local town today and um there was actually a god hates <laughs> person there you know like the one that's like oh, god like god hates homosexuals and there's just like a big group of people like around them singing ymca and the police were there <laughs> This this fucking fat neck beard comes up to me, and I'm wearing my um my battle jacket with all my band patches on it, and he's like, "Oh, cool, bro. What bands you got on there?" And he's like, "Yeah, I I'm I'm totally against these gay like these uh, gay rights people. I fucking hate." F <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, oh, "Okay, cool." Um, he's he's just giving off proper bad vibes. I don't know if he saw me and he saw the way I was dressing. He's like, "This guy probably hates gay people too." But he just started like Jesus. Um, residing in there. By the way, I don't do what you want. I don't care. But um, unless you're a furry, yeah. Unless you're a furry, you're wait. Just, it's a special place Blur. in hell for you. Blur this out. <laughs> 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 anyway, episode eight of the Brain Dead podcast. Holy crap! Uh. I can see why people have missed this. Um, it's just been it's been an emotional it's been an emotional roller coaster. Uh, we we have oh, got a I'm couple crying. of topics, believe it or not. We could just sit here and cry about sussy backers and whatnot. But um, <laughs> please the first, never say the first that. Thing, the first thing is it's got to be invincible. Is that Max in the background harassing you? <laughs> yeah, she's gonna start jumping up on the desk. He's trying to steal the clout. Down, go away. No, you're ruining the podcast, Max. I'll be so inconsiderate. So yeah, what do you think about Invincible? I'm pretty sweet, you know, 17 more years, what's 17 more years, I can make another son. Um, yeah. I, I, I really did like it, I thought it was an anime at first. I was yeah, about you to were scared to watch it because you didn't want to turn to a weeb. Which, by the way, like, there's nothing I... wrong with being a weeb, I watched plenty I, I of thought, anime. I thought, I thought this Invincible thing was going to be like the boys, I thought it was going to be live action. Then I saw it's anime, and I saw it like... Sorry, the cat. And I <laughs> thought it was going to be like, it, it was drawn. Yeah. Yeah, like, man like... like manga characters, like I, 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 I'm the Joker, baby! I know this because in year four, I did a manga drawing. Manga drawing? Not to be, not to be political or anything, but I oh. did a manga drawing in year four. I know that, how to speak the, Japanese fluently. Not to be political. <laughs> not not to be political, how... but not to be political. <laughs> it's like what I saw on fucking Twitter once. It's like, um... This woman was like, oh yeah, my birthplace is Jap Japan, I can speak Japanese. And some like weeb comes up and he's like, um, you're getting your pronunciation wrong. And some and someone goes like, how do you know what her birthplace is and how do you know that like she, she's not try uh, not Chinese, not um, Japanese. Chinese, Japanese. And he goes... What are these? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, to be honest. And he, and is... he goes, and he goes, I know because I watch anime. It is a super get... toxic subculture, but yeah. I so that's like that's it. why I was scared to watch it. But you enjoyed it. It it was a good it was a good experience for you. Yes, I I sped run it actually. Omni man, what a fucking prick, right? Like, uh, oh my god, how why why does he beat up people? He's just a bastard, isn't he? I remember when um me and Lana were watching the first episode. It was like, okay, this is a bit slow. Where is it going? And then in like the last five minutes, it was like, what the fuck? What the fuck just happened? He just murdered everybody. Jesus. He's um he's very homelander ass. I, I I was eating potato croquettes and gravy and I was like, what the fuck is going on here? 
Yeah, it is probably the biggest heel turn out of nowhere. Uh, as an as an overall, I feel like the show is a fairly you know it's a fair bit slow, but you know when it kicks up, it really kicks up. Especially the Omni Man versus his son fight. What's his son called again? Invincible. Yeah, that's a joke. Um, <laughs> that, that's how you do comedy, okay? Fucking like podcasting one on one. Um, yeah, so <laughs> yeah, bro. His name's like Dark or something. Yeah, it's great. It, yeah, it's a great show. Um, did you watch Army of the Dead, the Netflix? Oh um, no, but the the the, by, the, by Zach the, Schneider. the sister has been um telling me to watch it as well. The 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 Chad King Zack Schneider. See, I watched it and I was like, meh. It's a bit meh. What, what what's it about? Come on. So tell us. um, it is essentially it's Dave Bautista. Is it is it just some dudes being guys? Like be honest, dudes, dudes bros. Nah, it's Dave Bautista who I like because he's drafts. Oh, and former WWE champion. He's beat John Cena on several occasions, so he's pretty happy with right. books. Um, and, you know, they go to uh, Las Vegas, which has now been taken over by zombies, and oh. they try and do a heist. That's it. And it's pretty It's pretty all right. It's about zombies. We all like a good zombie film. Uh, Speaking but... of zombies, I have on my on my background just idle prime video. Not to... Nice. Uh, it is playing The Walking flex. Dead. Sort of flex. Always got the Walking Dead. I, I've, I've I've been rewatching the Walking Dead. I am on season four. The prison has just fallen. Oh hell yeah! Oh yeah! Spoiler alert. I that think happens. I, yeah, I think I stopped watching after like season four. It just drags way too much. For no, me. I remember you watching season seven, episode one with us. Oh okay, yeah, I did watch when, it like when fucking Popeyes appeared. Yeah. Oh shit! Brain Dead podcast has just become the Walking Dead cast. Finally, we, here Brain we Dead go. is the Walking Dead fan. We, cast. This is this is the Talking Dead. Fuck that. Um, Finally, what, whatever his name is. What, what what's that guy's name? Chris Hardwick. Fuck him. Yeah. Fuck him. Um, o- Op it. and the Godzilla. Have you seen Godzilla vs King Kong? Because that is another film that we uh watched the trailer and was hyped for. I have you, not. You just don't watch a lot of films, do you? But I have heard about it. I was gonna yeah. go watch it in the cinemas with my friends, but. My friend um, said, like, oh, he's already watched it, and then explained the plot to me. Good guy. But I, yeah. I, I, I ask for the spoilers. I was like, yeah. oh. It was a really good film. and I, I'm going to watch it. I'm going to watch it soon. Yeah, yeah, no, you should, even with spoilers. I mean, they've succeeded in creating a cinematic universe, and they can't, you kind of didn't even know it was coming, because you got King Kong Skull Island, you got the first Godzilla film, and then you got Gizilla, Godzilla, Godzilla King of the Monsters, and then boom. Godzilla King of the film. Monsters, and- yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, it was very. It was like, very like I like to watch I my said what... fighting in the cinemas. Kick the <clears> shit like out I of that s- one, kid. <laughs> like I said, the last time we went to the local town. Yeah. Um, I I'd much rather watch the 1930 Japanese one where it's just oh, yeah. sock puppets. Black and white with sock puppets. Yeah. Black and white with puppets, best ever. Everything like, was, don't, was great don't... though. It was good CGI. It was really well done, put together. Yeah, and no, Millie I want I want I want it. Millie Bobby Brown was in it. Yeah, she wasn't insufferable. Oh my god! Yeah, oh my god! Like, is that uh, is that twelve from Stranger Things? Uh, Remember, we, I'm we both twelve got, like, from Stranger Things. Both got like a child things. that is like you know, hey, I'm friends with the big scary monster. It was a good fight. You know, they they had several fight scenes which were cool, and you know, spoilers, Godzilla won all of them. There was a clear winner in every fight, and it was Godzilla. Because let's face it, Yay, he's just a monkey. Godzilla. Far invincible, good. So, because it's been a while since the last Brain Dead podcast. My apologies and OP's apologies. We've been very, very busy, but I think so. We're going to try to keep you up to date with everything we've been watching. Invincible, good. Army of the Dead, bad. Godzilla vs. King Kong, good. Um, I don't know how much you know about this topic, but do you know what NFT videos are? <clears throat> what do you mean? Have you heard of the concept of NFT videos? Maybe. Guess the acronym for NFT. <laughs> NFT. Um. New Fontidies? No. I, I don't actually know what the acronym stands for, but it's essentially... Do you know the Charlie Bit My Finger video? Oh, God. Do you know... So, I don't fully understand it myself, but basically videos are... Beco- certain popular internet videos are becoming like cryptocurrency, like they've got a value... The video of Charlie Bit My Finger recently sold for $800,000. Videos are now being sold, and what some creators are actually doing is they're taking certain clips and certain videos and selling them. So let's say you were to... shut the fuck up. 
Max is trying to get in on the podcast. We need to make he's him a you know, he's, he's trying to get out the door. You can own them. You don't get anything from them other than you can say, like, oh, I own Syndicate's Minecraft video or whatever. Or I own this Among Us video. Oh. A really weird concept. So Marvel have been doing quite well for themselves recently, huh? How? Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Lo- Loki. Loki. Um, WandaVision. One of the best things going on right now. I mean... It's absolutely mind blowing just how crazy the first episode Loki was. Have you watched both episodes? I don't yes, I have. Yet. So in the first episode, woman Loki. Yeah, in I, I knew that coming straight away. By the way, as soon as I saw the hooded figure, there was just something about it where it's like that's not a guy, that's like a woman's figure, even though it was just like a shadowy hood. It was like that's definitely a woman. He can tell. So, saw that coming a mile off. But what did you think about the Infinity Stones? Just like being um just like yeah, man. It, oh yeah what, some, what of the, some of the guys around the office use them as fucking paper weights. i love the trolling that they did because by the way i went well i say i me and lana my girlfriend we went to a double bill of infinity wars and endgame now if you're you know a big fan of the marvel universe like myself and tom i'm a big are, fan of the marbles yeah i love the marvel universe the marvel you know, universe they've really made you invested in these characters and in the movie screen in Friend Game, uh, spoiler alert's coming just in case you haven't seen it. It's been a fucking while. Come on, what are you doing? It's it's um, it's been a, it's been about let's say three years. Yeah. So spoiler one, <clears throat> essentially Ant Man goes inside of Thanos' ass. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> um, Wonder, uh, Wonder Woman dies and Batman um, resurrects her. No, that is also the wrong film franchise. No, seriously. Black Widow dies, and so does Iron Man. And um, there was two people behind us, and they cried, like literally cried when um, w- Cat. Oh, fuck, I'm trying to say Wonder Woman and Catwoman at the same time. They both <laughs> cried when Black Widow died, and then when Iron Man died, they were literally bawling like the mum had passed away. They were like, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. we turned around, and they were fucking, they were fully crying. So it's amazing the trolling that Marvel has done. They've showed you how much these Infinity Stones mean, and they've made it in like they've installed it into our heads that these Infinity Stones are worth dying for. They're worth killing our favorite characters for the people that we love, the people that we're invested. Whose favorite in. character was Black Widow? Yeah, oh, come on, she's got a fan base. I mean, just it's it's, f- it's like Black fucking Black. Hawkeye. It's like it's oh, like, like um, it's like that. It's like the Harry Potter universe. He wants to be in Hufflepuff, right? All right, we're going to do a tear list. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. I, I had something to say. I had something to okay. say. Okay. I laughed at the fact that Black Widow jumped off a cliff. Uh, I, I, I'll i explain this. So I was in history class, in, and um, uh, the, uh, everyone was talking about Endgame because it had just come out. And this girl was like, oh, yeah, I need to save up so I can go watch it because I haven't watched it yet. Yeah. And I just decide to go, Black Widow jumps off a fucking cliff, and I just start crying laughing, like, it for was, some it reason. It was really hard not to spoil the film, because there was, like, this sense of power straight away, because, like I said, me and Lana went to the midnight release of it, so we saw it, like, boom, straight away, that was it. And it just, there was just, like, this sense of power for, like, the first couple of hours. I mean, we both, we both left the cinema at, like, 5 a.m., because it was a double bill, but there's just like this weird sense of power. Like I could jump on the internet right now and just ruin everybody's week, just with like oh, a tweet or something. But I didn't because you know, for the sake of the. Fandom. I I remember like when Infinity War came out. The 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 the, the, the day after, the morning after, I woke up like I was I was gonna go to school. And I woke up and I just went on YouTube and I had the video. It's like everybody fucking dies. Yeah. And I, I watch it and I just see Spider Man dusting away. That was the saddest, man. That was the saddest. But anyway, yeah, getting back on topic, it was so amazing that they managed to troll everybody so hard and they've just like made us think that these Infinity Stones are so powerful. And then in one episode of a Disney Plus show, they're just like, nah, only kidding. They're nothing. <laughs> fucking K- Casey is the strongest. Like being in the universe, he has like. And 10 he doesn't of them even know what draw. a fish is. He doesn't know. The boy doesn't know what a fish is. Somebody send help. Uh, it was just absolutely. I couldn't believe it when I saw it. I was like, "What the fuck?" So basically, these people, these like office workers, are like some of the strongest beings in the galaxy. And mm-hmm. 
We but just they need to, to get that they need to get that giant midget guy to go. Um, I don't think I can midget. say that. I don't mm. think I can say the M word. Midget. Meh. Oh. No, it doesn't matter. I'll, I'll tweet at Peter Dinklage see what he says. See if we get the okay from it, him. It, it, you're not allowed to say all these um these 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 um slurs. They call them slurs, like the M slur and the R slur. Like I say retard all the time. Like I don't care. Like oh I oh care. I said retard. No, you arrest me. R- retarded. Bro. Retard. Like it's, it's like. You're trying to be edgy, though. You're trying to cause trouble. I won't stand for I'm it. not. Like, I won't say the, the F name. word. I won't, I won't say the F word, you know, the one that, that describes a cigarette and also a gay so, person. So, you're saying you and have I more won't, respect And I them. won't say the N word. You would not. I, I will not say the N word. Those, those are the two. That's very Midget majority. and retard. Yeah. So, those are just so, you have, so you have no respect for midgets or retarded people, then? Right? Um, is that what you're saying? No, no, I have respect for them. It's just I, I it's not a slur to me. Right. Like okay. I, 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 I have enough people around me that have given me probably those. Pa- well, not the, not midgets, but still. I don't know, midgets. Are you know? <laughs> <laughs> you're in like a club. I mean, to be fair, you're like four foot seven, so you're a fucking midget. The same midget I am. If you fight. Google, if you Google how tall is OP, it's like home is three foot six. <laughs> I'm five foot three. Yeah, you keep telling yourself that, boss man. I'm f- Nan. Nan message messaged me. <laughs> how many? She, how many? She... How many thirty centimeter rules does she have to use? <laughs> like seven. Oh, oh god. Well, um funny because you're small. Um, yeah, but yeah, no, I got a group of midgets in my basement. So yeah, anyway, back to me being at the cinema, I finally saw the Marvel Studios celebrates the movies and we got a full rundown of everything. So I'm about to screen share with OP. Don't worry, I'm going to go over and edit the trailer in so you guys can see it. And we're going to have a first impressions. Now we've actually oh. seen some of these clips, but some of them are new. So, you know, this is the first time we're going to be seeing these. This is a brain dead exclusive for myself and OP. So yeah, I'll be in charge of the videos today because OP informed me that his computer is... um on the verge of exploding let's watch marvel it celebrate. is an arm neutrino it bomb now it's gonna it's gonna explode okay. all right um so yeah let's let's watch it i'm gonna turn the volume all the way up and I hope that you can hear it but yeah this is a rundown of everything we're getting in, in phase four which is good because this is the first time 12 million got... views i get yeah. double that a video oh my god this is the first time we're getting like a proper guaranteed list of all the films we're getting this is like a genuine set list so let's let's have a watch I love being with people. It's the most incredible thing in the world. What are you doing? Oh, this is nice. That world may change and evolve. But the one thing that will never change, we're all part of one big Not anymore. family. This is epic. Epico. Oh. He's your brother. Rip black. That pants. woman over there. Oh, I peed it. Oh, I peed it. Actor A. <laughs> Yo, it's Chris Hemsworth. I know I absolutely hate doing this. I hate pausing because it's just more of a pain in the ass to edit. But can I just say I absolutely hate comic book fans because they ruined the watching experience for Endgame. Literally every single thing that happened was like, oh, oh my God, something's <laughs> happening. 
people literally stood up and screamed when Captain America uh, caught the hammer. People screamed. They they stood up and shouted at the at the screen. So yeah, uh, I can I can imagine this is how all Avengers End Games. The, uh, the when I well. when I watched it in the cinema, <clears throat> the only time the, the you got something out of the audience is when Tony Stark for um Rocket the raccoon was was a builder bear. Yeah, that's hilarious. And and everyone was laughing. Anyway, sorry, Future Zilla, uh, about this. We'll go. We'll get to it. Someone illegally filmed this in the cinema. <laughs> Marvel is just using it instead of pressing them. Assemble. All right, here we go. Now we get to see everything coming in phase. So this is our guaranteed list of phase four films. Obviously. Black Widow film. But I'm done running from my past. We have unfinished business. Who's we? There you go, July 9th. Eternals, fuck yeah, November 5th, we're the ones who changed everything, Whoa, hey. Spider-Man, no, no way home, way. Multiverse of Madness, Love and Thunder, Wakanda Forever, The Marvels, Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania. And <clears throat> the Fantastic Four logo. Hey. Alright, so let's just jump straight into it. They showed the Fantastic Four logo. But did you notice that they didn't put up anything for it saying there is a Fantastic Four film coming? The ending scene is the Fantastic Four logo, which we've been expecting. We've been expecting like a fully fledged Marvel Fantastic Four, so that's really exciting to see. And there's a bunch of films in there. Did you did you know that that was the guaranteed lineup? Yes. Yeah. So we got a Wakanda Forever, which they said they weren't going to do. They said they weren't planning on making a second one, but they are. What's your opinions about that? Where the fuck is my Guardians of the Galaxy Christmas special? I still think that's coming. I had the exact same reaction today. I was like, wait, what the fuck's Gans of Galaxy Vol 3? I understand. I feel like we're getting a volume no, 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 3 we're, we're and getting we're getting a Christmas special. We're getting a volume 3 and we're getting the Christmas special. Yeah, but yeah. What, it's not been announced. Like uh, That's the yeah, only yeah. thing I'm looking forward to. I feel fuck like... the other movies. Fuck Eternals. Fuck Sh- 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 Shang-Chi. Whatever that fucking movie no, is. No, Shang-Chi's going to be great. I feel like fuck the Black Widow. It's going to be I just get... a Disney special. I only want Christmas special. Yeah, we'll get it. Don't worry. But um, Wakanda Forever is going to be super interesting, I think, just to see I what I feel like shit. I just want my Guardians of the Galaxy Christmas special back. We will. We'll get there. Don't worry. I'm sure it'll be announced at some point as a Disney Plus exclusive. Oh, There's a lot of really paying, cool paying £70 pound to see Groot go, I am Groot, and it means no, happy it'll be Christmas. Free. It'll be free. Um, <sighs> What about the Ant-Man and the Wasp? I can't believe that's getting a third film. For like, what a media. For, I, I really do actually like the Ant-Man films because they're fun. But for such like a B-side character, the dude's on his third film. Iron Man has three films. Fucking Ant-Man is on th- on his third film and he doesn't like the slowing down either. So. so out of those films, I mean, I've got to ask which one are you most looking forward to? Going to the Galaxy Christmas special. I'm joking. Um. Oh, thank God, because that joke was getting stale, my guy. Probably. I'd say Spider-Man. Yeah, No Way Home. I mean, shout out to the internet, by the way, for predicting that title. Do you think we predicted that title, or they just, like, caved under pressure? I'm like, yeah, fuck it, we'll call it No Way Home, because that's what everybody wants. I mean, does No Way Home... <laughs> 
prove that we're getting a multiverse film or if if he's in that stinking fucking apartment in that movie, I am I am gonna sue Marvel you for false advertisement. He probably will, but if he's in that stinking fucking apartment with Aunt May, and that because that's his home, yeah, and it says it says no way home, yeah, like. If he's in that fucking apartment, I'm yeah, suing. Probably, I'm suing Marvel Studios. It's probably and not Disney. no way home for him. It's probably no way home for like the other Peter Parkers, like Andrew Garfield and Tom Holland. No, not Tom Holland. That's the real one. That's the one we've got now. Who is it? Andrew Garfield and what's the other guy? Toby um, Maguire. Toby Maguire. That's uh, he's great. Um, apparently, we're gonna get like a really cool, rough-looking Tobey Maguire from all the um, fan art I've seen. That's gonna be cool. Apparently, apparently, okay. apparently, I've heard the off of the off, off of the great source of TikTok. Oh that shit! Al- okay. The Alfred M- Molina yeah. is coming back to play Doc Ock. Yeah, no, I've heard that too. Shut up, Max. I've heard that. Can, too. Uh, can I skin and I mean, can I skin and eat that cat on the podcast? No, I can't. I don't think YouTube will like that. Susan Wojcicki, not a big fan of cat eating. Yeah, scu- Susan Wojcicki, <laughs> she doesn't like it. <laughs> no, she's not a big fan of that at all. Um, I think the mo- film, I'm not that you fucking asked, I think the film I'm most looking forward to is probably Wakanda Forever because, you know, a female female Black Panther It's going to be the bald what, woman. What, Shuri? Yeah, is that the bald woman? No, Shuri's his sister. The bald woman is, is um Danaya Guerrero. Circl- circling back Denaya to what Guerrero. we first, awesome. cir- circling back to what we circling. first talked about. Go on. The Walking Dead's Michonne. Oh, very cool, very cool. Yeah, that is the official lineup. Could they add more films? Yes. Is it weird to see a Black Panther film in the fourth installment of you know the phase thing? Yes. And so it's weird to see a, a um, Black Widow film as well because like those are pretty already established characters. I feel like they should have used this fourth phase to really open you know the horizon and expand the universe because that's what it's all about. Is not relying on the older characters. Like the the future of Marvel is looking very bright. There is a lot to look forward to, and it was nice to see them actually give us a somewhat cohesive list of things to look forward to with dates finally no more pushbacks for a uh, black widow we will uh, we'll get our black that widow film press yeah. x to doubt See what Boris Johnson press says. X right now. anyhow thank you very much for joining us for episode eight of the brain dead podcast please go check out op channel uh he Actually, does videos it's a ghost there. there's cob there's cobwebs <laughs> there don't go there it's a ghost Where, town. whereas with me you know you get two videos a week you're very welcome uh, but yeah, make sure you go check out OP's channel. Leave a subscription on there because eventually he'll start making the content. He promised. And you know, whenever he does a video with me or he's just come off a podcast, he gets like 20, 30 more views. So yeah, all of the uh, all of the Kidzilla fans, go, go show OP some love because uh, he's a great co-host. He puts up with a lot, especially with Max in the background terrorizing him. So yeah, here's to um, episode nine of the Brain Bed. The, the brain bed. Brain bed. Brain yeah. bed. Here's the episode uh, nine you, you of the brain said, bed. You podcast. said you said that the start was episode eight. Like what the fuck? It is episode eight. You you're losing. The, you just said episode nine. No, no. I was saying here's to episode nine coming in six months. Oh, sorry. I, I didn't hear <laughs> you because it yeah. keeps cutting out. See you for episode nine in like two years. Thanks for watching this one. It's appreciated. Uh, make sure you leave a like and yeah, we'll see you in the next one. See you. See you. See probably like an unboxing or something. So what's the new intro song guy called? I'm um, Harper. Harper, yeah. Harper, play us out. Thanks, bro. Appreciate you. Yes, yeah, thank you for the song, man. I wanna fucking die. It cut out right before you could say die.